Sharp from No Jumper is not a happy bunny. You want to know why? I'll explain to you. Check it out. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, Sharp from No Jumper, the gravelly voice guy, the podcast DMX, the realest out there. He was on his platform and he was airing out his frustrations of being on No Jumper and his current situation. He's been saying that they've been cutting his shows, being mistreated at times and with an agenda to get him out of there. I'll play you some clips from what he's been saying on his platform. Check it out. Seem like it's me and just wait for, oh, well, it's just you and this is just what, no, nah, they shut me out. I've been seeing it. Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen over at No Jumper. Everything flourishes. You just won't see my content over there like that. And if you do see it over there, it's because somebody didn't call. Hey, they, they, that's where they want it. And it's good. It's cool. I've been trying to get the Lena interview. I never wanted to sit down with her and be on some drag, even though she bashed my name kind of low key back in the beginning. And it's all dated. So it's not even no plan. When she, Flacco asked her about me and said, what do you think about Sharp? I'm thriving through the company. She said, I think I could poke a hole in Sharp's little thing. And you know what? I ain't never had nothing against Betty or against her and had him like, even though he say, oh, if somebody ever talked to my wife like that, I'm going to go crazy. Hey, homie, I never did. I've always kept it respectful, even though every time she walked through, she always looked like she way bigger than me. Every time she looked at me, she looked down upon me. It lets me know what type of conversations be happening about me. You know what I'm saying? So I pay attention. I'm a real one. It can't nobody ever, dog, if my in there, and I ain't calling your, your woman any of that, but I'm just saying, like, if my in there and like she act in a funny way towards you that lets me know what type of that let should let you know what type of conversations are being had about you at home no jumpers in a whole different trajectory right now and i don't think it involves me it wasn't really enough to tell me to my face that it didn't involve me it's just where it's at now you sit with that agree with you adam yeah fam he doesn't sound very happy or was that obvious kind of conflicting statements from sharp saying he hasn't got a problem with adam but from what he's saying, it does sound like he's got a problem with Adam. It's kind of a situation where he's saying one thing, but he's sounding like a whole different vibe. But hey, like I said, he was saying that they've cut his shows. He only goes on No Jumper just when it's necessary. He doesn't even know when they're going to drop his shows as well. It's not like a set day like it was before. He even got a bit personal, speaking on Adam's wife, Lena, not liking him, talking down on him. So clearly behind the scenes, it wasn't all rosy. I mean, as expected, Adam22 has changed a lot of the staffing in recent months. And obviously, that will result in less money for the actual talent. But Adam22 will catch wind of all of this, and he had a response himself. Check out the clip. Sharp said that I gave up on him. And that I only want yes men around me. To be honest, there were a few like meetings where we tried to tell Sharp why things maybe were not going so great and try to really get some feedback about what we could work on and everything. But it's kind of like talking all the wall. And you guys who watch them can probably, you could probably put it together. You could probably like guess what that was like, right? It was just kind of, there's a lot of blaming other people. It's a lot of sort of like, yeah, it's just a lot of shit. It's not really like, it, it just didn't seem like he was willing to really like take accountability. Or like change he he basically just like was of the opinion that it couldn't possibly be that he needed to change. And so I'm like, okay, let's give this a try. We're gonna give Sharp X amount of dollars as opposed to just the pure profit split. We're gonna give him X amount of dollars so that he can move out to LA and that it'll make sense for him to be out here. And I'm kinda of thinking like this this is like a pretty good idea. I'm thinking at the time this is a good idea. Because I'm thinking Sharp's Sharp's gonna be going to all the parties, he's gonna be meeting all the people. He's gonna be out there in the field acting as like a representative of No Jumper. So like we paid him, I think, for like a year, like a, a set monthly amount, right? And uh, at some point when we stopped doing the news, I had to kind of pull that back, right? Because it's like, you're not doing consistent content on the channel anymore. You're just doing the podcast with, with us taking the news away. That's like 10, 
podcast appearances a month that you're not going to be doing. So we cut back that monthly amount. I get the idea that he didn't really care for that decision too much, which I get. Sharp said that he can tell that I talk bad about him to Lena because when he would see Lena in the workplace, he could tell that she thought that she was better than him. Ooh, okay, let's talk about that. Why does Lena feel some type of way? He's not wrong. He's not wrong that Lena definitely probably feels some type of way about him. You wanna know why? Ooh, this is the juicy part because there's been multiple times where Sharp, arguably under the influence of alcohol, at noon, at 1, at 2 p.m., whatever, when we're filming Plug Talk episodes at the office, there's been a couple different times where the girls who work for Plug Talk have had some said to them by him that was inappropriate. Yeah, fam. Adam had to respond. And to be fair, Adam explained himself in a logical way. They had meetings with Sharp, explaining the things that they wanted him to do to somewhat maybe change. And he basically gave the feedback that Sharp didn't really respond well to it. They were not very productive meetings. Basically giving the impression that Sharp wasn't really willing to change. And at the end of the day, if you don't want to, don't do it. But yeah, they had a set salary almost for Sharp. And then when they cut the episodes, they had to reassess that. And obviously it means less money for Sharp. And it's a business decision. You have to respect it. But this is where I think Sharp would probably get a bit annoyed with Adam saying that he was kind of disrespectful to some of the females that were around during the plug talk filming. Now no man wants that type of reputation that he's disrespectful to women, despite what Sharp claims to be. So I can imagine Sharp responding to that comment that Adam said. But yeah, so it looks like Sharp will be probably leaving No Jumper very soon. I can't see any coming back from this. They're kind of saying that there's no bad blood, but it just looks like a lot of bad blood in my opinion. I don't want to do that. He told me to do it, so I had to do it. I said yesterday on the podcast, like, I was done picking on Sharp. Or I was done, you know, airing out. And then he goes on stream last night and says a bunch more shit about me. Adam22 embarrasses Sharp. Big time. It's crazy. Let's talk about it. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Olize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, yes, Adam22 and Sharp have been bumping heads in recent times on the No Jumper platform. Sharp came out going off on his own platform, saying a whole bunch of things about Adam22, his wife, and basically the whole relationship has broken down and he's more likely than not off No Jumper. They've gone back and forth, but Adam on his Adam on Wax show said he's gonna stop talking about him. But Sharp couldn't help himself, he spoke about Adam in a negative way again. So Adam has responded. Now, do you remember when Sharp was saying that Drake referenced him on the Heart Part 6 when Drake said this? You mentioned an A minor, but Ninja got a B sharp. And tell the fans, who was it? You thought you left D flat, E major. Do you guys remember that? Well, Sharp thought Drake was talking about him and giving him a shout out. Yeah, people, it's wild. And if you don't know, Sharp is a big Drake fan, has pictures of him in his bathroom. How crazy is that? Pretty crazy. Well, Adam, who has a relationship with Drake, contacted the sixth god. And he said this. Yo, so there's a dude who did podcast on No Jumper for a while, Sharp. And he's convinced that when you said talking about a minor, but N-words gotta be Sharp, that you were shouting him out. All of us told him he's insane, but he's been talking about it for like six months. So I was wondering if you could just confirm it had nothing to do with him. Adam even put a picture of Sharp there and says this dude. Also, he has mad photos of you up in his bathroom. And Drake responded laughing. They said, why the F would I take that serious moment to shout out that guy? Jeez. That's gotta hurt. Can you imagine having somebody's pictures all over your bathroom? and thinking that they're shouting you out in their song and they refer to you as that guy that's gonna hurt and Adam22 could not resist but respond to this check it out oh, the streets, the ops, the reaction channels they all owe me for sending that DM and then posting that DM because I just gave y'all content for the next week I don't want to do that 
he told me to do it. So I had to do it. I said yesterday on the podcast, like I was done picking on Sharp or I was done, you know, Aaron out. And then he goes on stream last night and says a bunch more crazy about me. So here it is. You are delusional. Drake has never heard of you. Or I, I guess maybe heard of you. He called you that guy, you know, not like in a good way, but like that guy, you know, the guy over there. Um, maybe this will clue you in to the fact that you need a goddamn reality check. And if you're saying you brought a million subscribers to No Jumper, go bring a million subscribers to your platform. Go bring a million subscribers to any platform. What the f- is wrong with this dude? Yeah, fam. He called Sharp delusional. And Adam gave these reasons. Said he was going to stop talking about Sharp in a disparaging way. But then Sharp went and said something else. And, and then Adam put his finger on the trigger. He pressed that button. And it's not going to lie. It's giving content creators something to talk about. We appreciate you, Adam. But that is how Adam22 embarrassed Sharp big time. But you know what? I want to know what you think. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.